language. Context of uh, family and uh, where we come from, sort of, uh, with this channel. Uh, normally, it's not. Uh, this is not the topic, but I think it's uh, worthwhile to share a little bit where we're coming from, sort of, as the name suggests from the channel that's called the Way to Native Chronicles. And uh, as some of you may know, my wife is native. She's First Nations from Northern Alberta. And uh, she was brought up in a very traditional lifestyle, and the two of us come from very, very different backgrounds. Uh, we met actually yesterday marks the 46th year uh, ago that we met, and I, uh, uh, she made such an impression on me, frankly, that uh, after I met her and I got her phone number to take her out for a date, I went straight home and I circled the date on the calendar, March 5th. And uh, because I knew that I had met the woman that I was going to spend the rest of my life with. Maybe she didn't know that yet, but I did. <laughs> so it took a little bit of, uh, a little bit of courage to get up and just uh, walk over to her out of the blue and convince her that I'm not some sort of creep and uh, to go out with me. But, uh, you know, uh, frankly, she was so darn beautiful. <laughs> I just had to. I, uh, if I didn't hadn't done it, I was going to be kicking myself for the rest of my life. I felt so. Even though these are not the easiest things for men to do, for young men especially, I was only 20. Uh, the uh, you need a little bit of a push to get going sometimes, and uh, I guess maybe it's easier nowadays with uh, with all these dating apps. You just swipe and <laughs> there you meet somebody, but. When you do it in real life, it's not so easy. But, you know, long story short, she said yes to going out with me, and things went from there, and uh, it was a whirlwind romance. We got married <laughs> uh, five months after that, so everything went quick. A lot of people thought, well, that's, you're not, you're being a little unwise there, you know, that's, <laughs> how do you know who you're going to marry? But, you know, you, you do have to have a strong attraction to the person that you that you, you want to marry but it's not really that you have to go out and find somebody so much as you have to go out and make a relationship so you find somebody but from there on you make a relationship and that depends a lot on you your character and the other person's character and uh, that's why probably in so many parts of the world, even arranged marriages work, because if you're determined to make a relationship, that makes all the difference. It's not just based on your feelings in the spur of the moment. So anyways, that's, uh, now it's, uh, we've been married for 45 years, and uh, we have a family, we had two children, and uh, from those two children, we have uh, 11 grandchildren now, so uh, I thought I'd just share some of these scenes from a recent time we went out together as family. We do it all the time. We're, we're very close still. Uh, it's really nice that, unlike many in this day and age, that the children have to move all over the country, even outside of the country, to get work or to pursue careers. Our family has stayed right here in Alberta. Maybe one of the ad advantages of being in Alberta is, is uh, that, until recently at least, there's been a lot of work here, so there's no real need to move away. And uh, the 
those close family ties, they make a lot of difference for you in your life, especially as you get older too, I think, and, uh, and you start to enter a new phase where you start all over again, seeing that next generation growing up and just uh, proudly looking on as you watch them change and develop and, and learn their individual personalities and, and cheer them on as, as they progress in life. Hope you like it. If you haven't subscribed yet, click that subscribe button. But this is more for, you know, the, the folks out there who've been watching this channel for quite a while. I really appreciate your support. Watch where you're going. Brody. Nice going, Rainy. And then come back with a big load. Where did you say it's comfy? What's that? It says comfy. Ah, oh, she yeah. spilled my beer. Spill my beer. Alcohol abuse. Yeah, that's Can't go anywhere without your abuse. alcohol. Alcohol abuse. <laughs> She's still partying from last night when we. Our anniversary. Are you the fire tender there, uh, Everett? I think so. I think we're going to uh, appoint you. Oh, hey, he's taking off. You quitting your job? <laughs> Hi, Mary. Hi, Mary. Hi, baby Mary. <laughs> Where are you going? You going to go down the hill? <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, what is she go is she taking over your fort? <laughs> yeah, I can't see very well there. What you getting there, Mary? Mary? <laughs> <laughs> 
the seat. Jonah's first campfire. The first of many to come. <laughs> oh, I'm just doing a little eavesdropping on your girl's stories. Tell me who you're talking about, and then I'll post her on Facebook. You know Jessica? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, you guys are pretty, pretty keen. You caught me just like right, right away. <laughs> oh, I've been recording you for a half hour, actually. You don't, you don't even notice. That's pretty sneaky. Let's just get that Yeah. Did you find the fort, uh, Nolan? Say red rum. Say red rum. <laughs> red rum. <laughs>